Hello everyone and welcome back to Farming Center 22. We're back here in No Man's Land with Grover Games. So last in between the last episode we finished the expanding our first little field that comes with the property and I did a little bit of outline in one of the other fields. And while exploring the mods this morning, I found a cheaper option for our rock picking issue. I found a little so we don't have to spend as much money on a stone picker, because originally we were looking at picking up, oh, where, where are they? There they are. One of these stone pickers here, which, don't get me wrong, would be nice, but I found a stone bucket mod online, and I, it's quite a bit cheaper. I mean, it's, and it's got, it could be used for telehandler three point or universal inter interface, which is what we're going to be looking for today. So that way we can put our, put it on the front of our loader trap loader for our tractor. And we'll be able to pick rocks with it. So that's what we're going to go with. And I thought I could get away with only needing the truck for it. Might just have to prop it on the fuel tank for now. The thing's a lot bigger than I realize. Plus, I didn't really want to unload, spend time unloading the trailer with all the, oh, all the, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? All the lime we have on it. Oh, come on. Work with me. There we go. Now, hopefully I'll ride. We can find out now, won't we? But I found this. It looks like it's going to ride, so that's good news at least. But I found this mod while exploring for cheaper options this morning, so... And I think it's going to work out a little bit better for us. And then I also picked up another mod called the... Which is just the cell point for the stones, so that way we don't have to drive all the way... We don't have to pile all the stones around the farm and then try to bring them all the way up to the... All the way up to the interstate here in Selm. Instead, we're just going to end up putting them getting a little sell point for like I think it's about a thousand bucks I can't remember that we can just set on our property and just drop all the stones off there and I think this is gonna be a lot better option because with our future tillage methods that I have in plan I'm hoping to we'll be trying to avoid mainly picking up all these stones I mean there are cases where we'll have to once in a while but I think this is gonna be a lot better option Let's get the truck turned off here. Turn that off. And let's get the Oliver fired up here. I also filled the Oliver up between episodes so that way we won't have any issues like we, like we did a few episodes ago. And she's getting mighty dirty already. We're just gonna leave our ripper right here for now. Maybe? There it goes. Get our ripper put off there. Grab our tractor weight here. And I think we're gonna end up putting the rock pile out back there by that big rock. At least that's what I'm gonna call the cell point is our rock pile. And then we're main goal for today before this day month ends is to get our oats planted. And to get I'm hoping to get at least those trees all knocked out and gone. And I'm hoping to get it all in one load. But we'll see, we'll have to see how it goes cuz it seems like with all our own work we're doing here compared to like that back finally fell over. But with all our own work we're doing here compared to my Elm Creek series, this is keeping us plenty busy. I was kind of concerned at first if we were going to whoop that's not good. Huh. Well, I guess we could take the fuel barrel with us. Hmm. I wonder if I can... Okay, I think we're just going to have to reset the fuel barrel. Hopefully I can trigger just that. Also need to get rid of that mod because there's no 
I might be having a little bit of an issue here. No, we don't want to reset the tractor. Let's back up a little further, see if we can get to reset here. Yep, there we go. Hope that fuel barrel doesn't become empty now, because I know if I had stuff like that happen before on 19 where I had to reset something and it just decided to empty, empty the whole item out when it was full of grain. But we're going to give this a try here. I think this is going to be a lot nicer than trying to go across this field with that rock picker, especially since and we can kind of go full speed here. Maybe a little bit of cheating, but you know what? We're we're still picking the stones up, so we can't really call it cheating now, can we? I do feel like personally. I hope. The, I wonder if this is going to be too heavy for this tractor. I guess that's one thing I didn't think about. We're, front end's going to get too heavy when we get the bucket full. But I guess to be. One thing I do got to say is I'm glad they kind of implemented it, but I think they, I feel like Giants did not go about the right way, because I feel like too many stone, well, I guess I shouldn't say too much, because in reality there are, there's always lots of, lots of rocks to pick, but I just, it just feels like the way Giants did it, there's kind of an absurd amount to me, at least that's how I feel about it. Let's get all these picked up. Oh, that's a few there. Kind of, kind of a little bit of bumpy. I'm trying to run this thing, but like I said, this is gonna. I honestly do believe this is gonna be a lot better option than using the pull behind rock picker, especially since I know it says recommend 100 horsepower. I think that I'll ever be able to handle it. She's handling. She's been handling everything we throw we thrown at her so far, so. We already got quite a bit of the bucket's already pretty full. For the for the few rocks I feel like we've picked so far. Yeah, you can tell it's getting a little a little wobbly. Alright. One thing I also notice when you're going through a field with a lot of rocks, they like to really implement that that's going to be shaking your cab a lot, which I don't know how I feel about that, you know? Like, yeah, certain big rocks will, but I don't think these rocks the size they got here for now are going to really shake it up as much as they implement, you know? Gosh, shining. You start going too fast, it starts bouncing around a little too much. I guess when I was testing it a few times, I was doing it more on plowed ground versus, versus the subsoiler texture or the cultivated texture, but... I was trying to get that right, right angle. These these rock buckets are actually quite handy. I know handy. I know we got my folks got one, and we it's we use it with our skid steer, and it's it's kind of a handy thing to go out there before tillage to to knock out a bunch of the big rocks, so that way we don't damage any of our damage our soil finisher and stuff like that, or the planter. But the the thing that does suck about it though is like if you're going through Going through a cornfield, a lot of the stocks don't really deteriorate very well over the su over the winter and such after harvest. So it's pretty easy to get these kind of. I feel like at least I do. It feel it's pretty easy to when you're trying to dig up like pick up like a single rock to get a bunch of those stocks in there, and then it kind of kind of makes it a little harder to sift 
sift the dirt out of there, the soil out of there and such. But I think this is gonna, this is gonna go a little bit faster than, oh yeah, this is definitely gonna be quite a bit faster than trying to, trying to go across here with that little rock picker. And you know what the best part is? We saved ourselves about $22,000 just by picking this up instead and in one of those rock pickers. Especially for something I think, especially since we're going to be doing no-till with our drill, which is going to save us a lot of time and a lot of money on fuel. This is going to be real, pay us pay off really nicely and it, you know it's gonna help us with our other investments like I said one of the things I'm planning for us to invest to next is a is a uh, wrapper so we could get our grass bales over there and start fermenting those and then maybe I don't know if we'll do livestock next or maybe we'll get a few greenhouses up and get a water tanker because it'd be nice to get something else go going while we're gonna be logging and doing other things in the summer and meantime so but I think we're gonna... Uh, before we jump into time lapse here, let's... Let's look at construction. And let's get our... Let's get our stone pile set up. There we go. I think we're just gonna leave it... I think right here in the back, back so it's out of the way and it's... Right next to the giant rock there. I think it'd be perfect. Perfect place for us to have to run it, run and take our stones. So I think we'll jump in the time lapse here. Like I said, our next step will be, will be Lyman. I don't think, that's one thing I didn't look at this morning before starting was, I don't think we need to, oh, uh, let's see. No, not growth. Where's? So it does look like we'll have to fertilize at some point again, but with our with our drill we got, we can directly fertilize while we're planting. So I think we're gonna we're gonna wait after we get past the first growth stage before we give it the second round because it looks like just the main field that we 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 started out with just needs to be fertilized. Nothing nothing more. So. We'll jump into the time lapse here. We're, we'll get all these stones picked up, and then we'll get the get the lime in and get get that done. And then we'll get our get our drill hooked up, and we'll get this get our first crop in. And then I think after that, we'll we're probably gonna go out and knock out those trees quick before it gets too dark, since I got the one field outlined already. And then maybe we'll start outlining the next field and get those few fields ready. So we'll see you guys at the end of this all.
all right everyone i think this is we're gonna wrap it up here for today we're gonna get this last load sold um i think we made pretty good time i think in the meantime between episodes before it gets too dark i might start etching the outline of the other field field and get that ready and we might might do a good portion of the tillage before it gets too dark that way when we start the next month a good portion of that will be done and then we'll have just stone picking to do and and lime and, and maybe I don't think we'll need to fertilize I think with us tilling that grass under it should give us all our stages of fertilizing we need especially with our drill there and that drill is that came in pretty handy it's it was a good little drill that we're working that first piece so hopefully the next two pieces are they'll just be work just as well the I decided the bigger of the two fields I'm going to put beans in the bigger one and then I'm going to put sorghum in the other one but I'm having issues getting that one stump out, so I'm gonna have to go play around with that for a bit. I don't know if I cut it too short that it doesn't want to recognize it or what, but it's just doesn't want to come out. And I don't know if you also noticed when I switched the fuel tank, my my worst fear came true. They they kind of screwed us on it. They if we're if I'm if I'm gonna be honest, they they completely emptied it out when I reset it. So. Which is very unfortunate for us, but at least next time I know not to set anything on this fuel barrel, and so that way I won't have any more issues. We'll just get in the truck here. Well, at least, well, at least get it refilled up, so that way we're ready. Cause the the Oliver's gonna gonna need it. Unfortunately, I think it was getting close to half a tank already again. Uh, there we go. Let's fill that up. But yeah, otherwise, I don't have much else left for the episode today. If you enjoyed the episode, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. If you're enjoying the content, please subscribe to stay up to date the latest episodes coming out. Above all else, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day. And thanks for watching.